My first guest, very funny, very busy person, stars in not one but two TV shows, White Lotus, which is great, wraps Sunday on HBO, and the second season of the other two premieres August 26th, HBO Max. So, get a hold of someone's password if you need to. All right, here she is, Molly Shannon. <laughs> Nice to see you it's here. It's so nice to see you. Isn't it's, it nice? It's it's great. It, I feel like I haven't been in on like live television for a long I time. I know. You were on a show that was live, and, I, and the name escapes me. You, oh yeah, what was that? You show? were on SNL, and how long were you on that? I was on it for six seasons. Yeah. <laughs> great. We we crossed over a little at, at the end of mine, and you were on. But do you ever remember seeing me around the office or anything? I do. You, David, was so nice to me. You, I remember. I was living at the Paramount Hotel when I first started. I came mid-season, and I remember. Those rooms are so tiny. They were so tiny. <laughs> it was a joke when I went there. I go, you're joking. <laughs> yeah. Door, bathroom, phone. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. But you came over for dinner, and um, we sat upstairs. Do you remember that there was yeah. like a lobby? And you were so nice. David just showed me the ropes, and you were so sweet. And um, my memory of you, too, is at the read-throughs, we sat next to one another. Mm -hmm. um, Lauren Michaels was at the top of the table, and David was next to Lauren, and then I was next to David. And David, would, whenever he got low blood sugar, would have like a tuna fish sandwich <laughs> delivered to the, during read-through, remember? Flying in. Yeah. I would have so many things. But it was like three and a half hours. I'm like, no one can not eat for three and a half hours, but yeah. I thought, but I guess no one did. Yeah. But I would get really ballsy toward the end. I would get like spaghetti meatballs, or I'd get, <laughs> I, I got a steak that. once. I'm like, and there's <laughs> Tom Hanks and Lauren and you, and I'm like, this, <laughs> drink bone marrow. I'm like, this, hey, Tom, I think they want it more Russian. <laughs> My bad, but read it however you want. I'm... Yeah. No, right what was the name of that steakhouse you always ordered from? Oh, you Wally and Chris and Joseph's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Wally and Joseph's. That's right, Wally and Joseph's. Yeah, we... or Walensky. Oh, Smith and Walensky. Yes, Smith and Walensky. There you go. Walensky. Yeah, I remember all your eating habits. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'd go, <laughs> we'd walk down there, and uh, Farley would stop girls and go, "I'm a trainer," and then he'd, <laughs> he'd do push-ups on the ground, and they go, because it was he was borderline famous. Yeah. So. He did climb, uh, when Sandler and I were walking down, he goes, look at this gal. It's called sexual harassment now. But um, <laughs> he goes, she gets in the cab and he goes, where are you headed, Missy? And he climbed in, she's yelling at him to get out. And I go, you're not famous, you're not that, you're just scary. <laughs> um, but he's so funny and so rambunctious to everyone. It just, you know, so it was great. Funny. So I remember when he would um, hug people, he had like a little ritual. Do you remember this? Like he would, if he if he met somebody for the first time, can I get up and show you? Yes. He would do this quick thing where he was like, he would have to tap the floor. Oh yeah. And then lick, lick. But he would do it so fast that nobody would know, like, and clap. Do you remember so that? So funny. He'd be yeah. like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it was like a, I think, I think it was like a ritual. I think yeah. it was a ritual because he would do it every single time. I think they call it OCD, but yeah, it was uh, a, yeah. <laughs> cause he would walk in my office and he would flick the light on and off and touch the door twice. Interesting. Or we had the same office, so he'd come in and out and do it every time and I go, if this is a bit, it's getting stale. Uh -huh. But I thought he was doing a joke every time, but he had yeah. to because I have to do it twice. Rituals, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I noticed it, but I was like, nobody else notices it. Noticed it. It took me I... a long time to figure it out. Yeah, it was just, they, he's so they know goofy. how to trick it up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you, uh, after SNL, uh, we're jumping ahead. You went to Italy this summer. Oh, yeah, Italy. I was doing a movie there with Aub Aubrey Plaza and Alison Brie. And Great. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. Um, and I drove all over Italy. I, the production gave us rent a car, so I kind of. I learned to drive. My daughter also came. My son and my husband stayed back in LA, but my daughter came and before she got there, I really wanted her to, um, 
I wanted to be a, be comfortable, so I practiced driving because there's a lot of roundabouts. I'd be scared to drive it was somewhere. It's scary, but I figured if you can drive in Los Angeles, you can drive in Italy because LA is pretty crazy. <laughs> I guess. And um, I drove all over. I drove from Luca to Portofino, and and I drove to. I would just be like, I'm gonna drive to Florence tonight. I drove everywhere. Never. I would it, never. You wouldn't, no. David. I I hear things like they ride their bikes backwards. It's different yeah. over there, right? Yeah, yeah. But do you have to drive on the other side of the road? You know, you don't drive on the other side of the road, but it was funny, my, the driver that we had for the movie, she was like, Molly, she goes, that's amazing that you drove from Luca to Portofino. She goes, Italian women don't even do that. Or she said, if they did it, they would be like screaming like, ah, you know, while they're doing it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got, I felt, I, it was scary. I would pull over if people were too aggressive behind yeah. me, just kind of slide over and let them pass. But yeah, Every you kind of feel like you're going to die, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do it. I don't even rent yeah. cars when I go on the road here in America and do stand up. I don't like it. You don't? Because I don't like It's too, yeah. too much going on. Wait, say that again. What are you saying, David? Did I don't you... know. <laughs> no, when I do stand up and I go on the road and I sell out theaters, I. Um... <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Do you, do you speak Italian when you're when you're over there? You don't know it. I learned how to. I learned a few things in Italian. Like I learned how to say, "Can I please have um, a, <laughs> an iced latte to go?" I'd be like, "Posso avere un caffè latte da portare via?" I got that. Yeah, what a local. And, and I would really. I, it, it did get really good where they would think I was Italian. Mm -hmm. But when I first started, of course, they would respond to me in English. But then I got, and then the other Italian I know is. I took opera when I was in high school, so I <laughs> learned this song. So the other Italian is Lasciatemi morire, which means let me languish, let me die. Lasciatemi <laughs> morire. <laughs> so that's the only Italian I know. <laughs> I have Wait, I have to say one thing. I feel so rusty. Like I feel like I, it's so weird to be to be here with you. So I apologize because I it's so strange to be you know back on television, live television. But what I want to say is you're such a pro, David. I'm such a fan of yours. <laughs> I think you're so good at what you do. You're a deft comedian, and I just like I I appreciate you and have a tremendous amount of respect for you. So that's what I want to oh say. God. I mean, if I, it's so cool you're subbing for Jimmy. I love Jimmy, and I'm, I'm so, I'm, I know he's in, taking a vacation, but I was so excited you were here because when you're with like a pro like David, you make my job so much easier because you're so funny, so it makes me just relax. That's so nice. The end. I can't do it. Yeah, that's what I want to say. We were saying backstage what a bitch you were, and I was like, <laughs> she's so nice. No, I saw you at a party a couple years ago. And uh, my old girlfriend goes, she goes, is Mo Molly's here? Do you know her? Will you please introduce? She's my favorite from SNL. So sweet. Second favorite. And, um, and but she goes, she's my favorite. And you came over and you're so nice to her. That's you're such, so but, but in real life, Molly will talk to people and she's so lasered in on you and she's so real that you don't even know what to do. Aww. Because when people talk to me, they're always looking around because they're bored. Yeah, yeah. But when you do it, you're like this. <laughs> And it's so nice. It's like, have you ever talked to Tom Cruise? He lasers in on you. Yeah, he, he does. Like I've uh -huh. had that before. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and it's fun, and you feel important for yeah. a second. Oh, he really lasers in, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he gets in there. He was so nice. I, we saw him, I saw him at, yeah, maybe Adam what? Sandler's party, oh, yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise. And he was like, he really, like, completely focuses. It's pretty good. He's yeah. good at whatever he's doing. It's Very working. Very nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're a lot like Tom Cruise. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> so uh, we're going to talk, we're going to do a commercial. I want to talk about White Lotus, and I want to talk about Italy again when you, when you come back. So don't okay, leave. Yeah. All right, coming back, coming back. Yeah, it's 11.30. Seems so late for your mom. Doesn't she have to get up early for work? Good morning, boys. Morning? I know, isn't it wild? Now that I have my morning show, day is night, and night is day for me. I get up at 11 p.m., head to work at 12, then I have five and a half hours of makeup for women over 50. It's technically applied by a carpenter. Did you know that, Carrie? Then at 6, I do my affiliate throws for every city in America. Mm. At 7, I have my meetings. At 8, I do an hour of touch-ups again with a carpenter. Then we shoot at 9, the show airs at 11, I have my dinner at 4, and I'm in bed by 6. <laughs> yeah. That is from the other two, right? From the other two, yep. Created by the wonderful Chris Kelly and Sarah Schneider, former head writers on Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're, they're great. You always wind up in good stuff. Um, and you like yourself a good wig, don't you? 
I do love a good wig. It's, it's fine because you kind of ch ch change yourself. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, and, wigs and a, make the character. And a good wig like that is funny. It helps it a lot. <laughs> I think it's always fun. Uh, you did that one. That one comes on. Uh, oh, that August. comes on August 26, season two. It's great, you guys. It's um, and you can catch the first season now on HBO Max. But season two starts August right. 26th. Yeah, love yeah. it. And you got. Yeah. And of course, everyone talks about White Lotus. Yes. And when I see White Lotus, it's kind of funny for me to see you because your character seems a little not like what you're like. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was yes. watching. I'm like. It's kind of cool to see you That's in so... that different move because you're not that sweet. You're kind of shallow. Yeah. Right? Yes, I, I'm a very, um, con, you know, meddling mother-in-law. Yeah. And uh, it is a different type of role, yes. And I live in my kind of bubble, kind of playing a role. And I, it, was a ch it was hard to do. Yeah. Mike White, who's our amazing showrunner, creator, writer, he was like, no, 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 Molly. Because at first I was doing kind of like a car caricature almost. He was like, you don't have to act rich. You just are rich, you know? Yeah. So he just kind of gave me that. That's a good note, note. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so a good, good way to feel it out. That show's crushing it. People ask me about it all the time. I go, and then you came on, what, episode four? Yeah, episode four, yeah, yeah, yeah. In. We shot it in Hawaii. We had the best time. I mean, it was no. during, of course, a horrible time, but we, we, the silver lining was we worked in a safe COVID bubble and we got to live at a hotel in Maui for a month. And I brought my kids. And How fun. They did remote school and we would have sunset swims and dinners with Jennifer Coolidge and Connie Britton and Margarita. Yeah, you had a great cast too. Yeah, yeah, it was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I wanted to say that when you were, uh, remember on SNL you did I'm 50. Yeah. That was the funniest thing in the world. It's funny because you look younger now than when you played someone that was. That's it's so, so funny, funny. But you were kicking your head. I'm 50. <laughs> yeah. You get so into that stuff. It's so hilarious. Oh my God. Thank you. That's so yeah. sweet. I get asked to make birthday videos all the time. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. I do. So I do them in my backyard for people. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, but I don't have the wig and this. So it's a little weird. I do them in my shorts, like in my backyard, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's so fun. So yeah. I was just going to tell you, you went to Italy and I've been to Europe five um, days in my life. I'm not like a super traveler, yeah. But I have an Italian tailor, oh, you and do. so I get a little piece of it. Yeah. Oh, isn't that the Because he's so he's so old, and he's so Italian, and he's so he's got an accent. And he goes, hey, but he doesn't want to tailor anything. So I go, maybe the pants are a little shorter. He goes, no, <laughs> you ruin them. I go, well, oh. what? And I go, maybe a little thinner. He goes, eh. I go, you don't want to do anything. Meanwhile, his pants are like two feet wide, you know. Yeah. And I go, why am I? This isn't Justin Timberlake. I'm like, he wants me to look like him. Oh. And I go, no, there's newer things happening in the last 40 years. Yeah. But he doesn't want to mess with it. Interesting. You had some, what did you say? You The guy that fixed your dishwasher? Oh, the guy that fixed my dishwasher? Oh, yeah, there was a guy. I, 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 I've talked about ASMR, how I have it on talk shows before, but I truly have had it since I was a kid. So it's, do you know what that is, David? It's where, tell it's, them. It's like a, it's, a, it's called uh, auto sensory meridian response. It's where certain types of voices or a soft touch puts you into an extremely relaxed state. And you know, they have all the videos online, mm -hmm. like ASMR videos, but I can only get triggered by real life people. And, <laughs> um, and when, when I do meet someone who has it, I'm like, oh, this is the best. Whether it's like a fan or somebody you're working with, I love it because it feels like you're getting a full body massage while they're talking to you. <laughs> yeah. so, so, we, so I had this dishwasher repairman who came over and he was terrible. But he, <laughs> but he had the best, the most relaxing voice. So I would keep making, you know, I would, I would keep having him come back to my yeah. house because I was like, well, it's cheaper than a massage. And I would just make up questions for him, like, wait, what about the dishwasher? He was like, you know, you you probably need a new panel. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I was like, I think. <laughs> I was like, I mean, and my husband was like, why? This guy is not helping at all. And then I, I had him uh, do my laundry machine, and I would just keep having him come back. It was the best. And he was horrible at everything? He was horrible. He didn't fix anything. I'm going to call oh, him again. So funny. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Molly. All right, thank okay. you. That's okay. it. But uh, White Lotus, that uh, finale is great. It's going to be on Sunday. I can't wait to see what happens. And. Um, HBO Max. And the other two returns on August 26th on HBO Max also. I love Thank seeing you. Thank you, David. Thanks so good coming. to see you. Uh, appreciate it. Molly, we're back with Addison Ray. <laughs>